Is The Sims 4 fun when played entirely without mods or custom content? Many people think that it's not, but today I'm testing out whether The Sims 4 is fun without mods, even when you own every pack. I'm starting in a neighborhood that's right up my alley, but that I haven't had a lot of time to play in, Mount Komorebi. I'm going to start with a younger couple who've just moved to the area, one woman who was born in Mount Komorebi, Kauri, and her husband Hiroshi, an immigrant from San Maishuno. Although I normally play whims-based, since The Sims 4 isn't really designed to be played that way, I intend to play with a greater focus on aspirations. Starting up the household, whims are my first roadblock, though. I'm so used to playing by letting my sims direct the story that I completely couldn't figure out what to do for several minutes. Eventually, after deleting the b-box whims a few times, Kauri and Hiroshi wanted to socialize, and then the welcome wagon came, which helped get me started. I decided that Hiroshi would get a job as a salary man, but that Kauri would have a more traditional role, taking care of the home. Since they wanted to get pregnant right away, I let that shape the story I was going to tell. After that, I started trying to fulfill their aspirations. I gave them both the snowy escape aspirations that came with the pack, so getting out and experiencing Mount Komorebi was high on the list of what we needed to do. I found myself less interested in socializing and meeting new people than usual, since I knew there would be no major conflicts or drama due to me not having my first impressions or chemistry mods, as well as more personality pleas, which gives more flexibility to how the emotions affect the conversation topics. Their days fell into a pattern. Hiroshi focused on work, since the salary person career is fairly intensive with the hours and home tasks. Kauri spent her days taking care of the house, working on her aspiration, and doing some programming work, since as a geek, her whims directed me to have her learn that. The most exciting thing that happened was that Vlad came and attacked Hiroshi in the middle of the night. Kauri woke up to witness it and was completely horrified. While Hiroshi was at work one day, Kauri gave birth to the couple's daughter, Ray. At that point, I'd been playing for about an hour and decided to stop. If I was going to continue playing, I would follow the storyline of Kauri either becoming a vampire to gain vengeance against Vlad, or becoming a vampire hunter, likely keeping Hiroshi in the dark about the evils of the world, which she would be able to do because of how much he works. Ray would likely become a spellcaster and help her mother. Now here's the question. Did I have fun? The answer is yes and no. For the sake of this video, I'm going to define fun as 1. Do I want to keep playing after the allotted time is over? 2. Was I always engaged while playing, actively making decisions and striving to reach goals that I set for myself? And 3. Did I feel excited when experiencing successes or failures within the game? While playing, I very strongly felt the lack of several core mods, so the sims themselves felt very flat and without personality. Since Kauri couldn't tell me her impression of her neighbors, I had no idea if she felt like they were interesting or boring, so I wasn't really interested in having her interact with them further because I didn't know if she liked them, and since I didn't know them well as sims, I didn't know if I thought that she would like them either. Without chemistry, I had the same problem, and without better whims, her traits weren't reflected as well in her personality, and the choices that I made for her had to be generic rather than specific to her as an individual. There were several good things. The whims themselves were enough to work with more frequently than I expected. The likes and dislikes were helpful as well. Hiroshi found that he disliked writing when he had to work on reports after a stressful day at work, which was a realistic development that provided a new element to his story. I now know that Hiroshi doesn't like a large portion of his job, which I can use to drive his storyline in the future. Vlad showing up was a very welcome random event that I could use to shape the story as well, and I wish that more things like that happened in the unmodded game. 
The world was also stunning to play in and very atmospheric. So to answer whether or not I had fun, I didn't want to keep playing the save without mods because of how hollow it felt. And the storyline that developed with Kaori, Hiroshi, and Vlad, I did want to keep playing. I didn't always feel engaged since there were frequent moments of boredom while I waited for things to happen or didn't have enough direction to continue. But I did feel excited when successes and failures appeared such as Hiroshi's promotion, his developing hatred for his job, and the birth of Rei, but not enough to keep playing as it was. Is The Sims 4 playable? Yes. Is it entertaining? Not long term. That might be different if played with a challenge in mind, which would take up a lot of that lack with the personalities, but as it stands, the Sims themselves don't have enough depth to support regular gameplay for me. I did a quick comparison with the exact same situation, but adding back in all of my mods and custom content. So Hiroshi initially wanted to get odd jobs and wasn't interested in a full-time career right away, which made sense because they had just moved back to Mount Como Rebbe with the story that I had in mind. Kauri did want to get a job right away. She became a freelance programmer. She decided she wanted a collectible, so I had them head over to the onsen so they could get some things from the vending machines before hitting the slopes. Hiroshi decided of his own volition that he wanted to take up rock climbing, which was great because Kauri would need to do that for her aspiration, and having a buddy for that would be really fun for me to play. Hiroshi eventually decided that he did want a career, so I had him become a salary person just as before. The two spent a lot more time focused on their careers rather than their aspirations and each other. Hiroshi developed a friendship with his boss Kato, and Kato was often around the house for dinner. More fires kicked in at one point, and a fire erupted due to Kauri's poor cooking skills, which she hadn't had as much time to work on due to all of her programming and the failures she was having with learning her job. A couple of nights later, Kato was trying to fix the kotatsu table when he discovered that he really enjoyed handiness, and then he died because more electrocutions kicked in. I spent several minutes just staring at him and saying no over and over before finally having Kauri plead for him. This worked surprisingly and brought them closer together as a result. Kato wanted to form connections with his wife and adopt a dog, which I was all for. Right before I stopped playing, they adopted two corgis. This gameplay was more engaging to me because the mods I was using, I had to interact with them more. I had to focus on their whims and find ways to use those whims to fulfill their aspirations. I also wanted to keep playing to see if Kauri got any better at programming, if Hiroshi and Kato grew closer, and if Kauri and Hiroshi decided to start a family. This isn't necessarily due to the mods, since it's a result of whims-based gameplay, but it wouldn't be possible without the mods either because the whims are so lacking in the base game. If you liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I am currently playing a whims-based solar system legacy challenge, with new videos posted on Tuesdays. If you follow me on Twitter, I also provide video updates, Sims 2 gameplay, and occasionally post screenshots and tiny makeovers. On Twitter, I am also Witchlink Summer. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye!